Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lebo Munchusi and on this platform we are all about co-parenting, parenting as a whole so that we can all be conscious in our parental skills as well as enable us to raise kids who don't have to recover from their upbringing when they are older. I'm a mother myself, I'm a parent, I've been parented also by somebody else and I've noticed one thing that, you know what, sometimes when we break up with people, we tend to move on with our lives. And some of us do get married. Some of us, we've got just partners. And we end up introducing those partners to our kids' life. However, though, when we do that, then it seems like the other parent seems to have a problem when you do such to an extent that every time when the other parent wants the child to visit, then the other parent comes up with all sorts of excuses and reasons as to why they can, the child can actually sleep over at the other parent's house because they don't trust the other parent's partner and all those sort of things. While at the same time, on the other hand, they are staying with another partner, they are married, and the child has a relationship with that person. I honestly think that as parents, we need to get to a point where we deal with whatever the core issue might be that you might have with the other parent. But however, the whatever remedy that you decide to use, bear in mind there's a child involved, and you must just allow the child to have a relationship with both parents. And even if the other parent has another partner and they've moved on with their lives and for us to just stop coming up with excuses every time when the other parent wants the child to sleep over or they've got a trip with the other parent and they want to have a family trip. The thing is, the minute you refuse your child to go, let's say, on a trip with the other parent where they are going as another family and the child hears about it, your child must go might grow up thinking that, you know what, my dad or my mom chose the other family over me. They decide to do things with others while I'm left behind and I'm not part of the whole thing. So these implications and consequences to our actions in terms of parents when we deny our kids to have a relationship or to do certain things with the other parent with the family as well. So next time you try to deny, try to think of it in terms of what is the whole impact? How will it, how will my child take it? Will it be, will they be okay with it? You know, instead of you just looking at it from your perspective and saying that, no, my child, I don't want my child around this person. I don't trust this person, but what does your child want? And I'm sure your child will love to be part of the other parent's family as well.